Digital transformation is actually is a must. It's not a choice anymore. If not, you will be just left behind of the competitions in the market. I think um, this conference has been uh, quite an eye opener for me, actually, because I think um, you know, in talking to many of the attendees, what's clear is they're actually at different stages of the the transformation. And FICO is playing a different role depending on the level of sophistication the customers at. What we do is we bring in world-class experts from around the globe on specific subjects that we pick in advance. And what we do is we share what we've learned through these engagements. So the learning we get from a previous engagement, we give to the next customer, and it continues to build. We started focusing on the changing the bank into the digital arena more aggressively about four and a half years ago. Um, being a bank with a long history, we have our existing infrastructure processes like any other big banks. In the digital world today, this one way or the other becomes a little bit of baggage. What we did well firstly is changing the mindset of everybody. You can do all the te technological um, implementation, advancement, models, data, but if the people working on it are not with you, that will be a bigger challenge than you expected. I think today I like uh, many sessions uh, for this conference. For example, I like the one that Scott present because I think I like the, the way that Scott present because I think he's an expert in analytics and the way that he present is easy to understand. Artificial intelligence will be super important with respect to transformations required for digital banking. And banking is about making decisions quickly and intelligently with the types of data that we have coming in related to the digital bank. So you can act on it in real time. Getting the models related to customers' lifestyle and use the tools and models right, to really help us predict customers' needs before they really ask for it. When we traditionally use the term upsell, cross-sell, it seems to be from the bank's perspective, we're going to demonstrate our understanding of customer needs. We want to make banking invisible. They mentioned they want to well, remove all barriers of banking, and banking is part of their lifestyle. A lot of these guys are really, really freak on control, so they want to control everything. Also, they are very much in the comfort zone doing business the way they want to do it. But if you see recently, a lot of fintech companies, especially in Indonesia, hitting them hard. In Indonesia, I think we are like 10 years behind of digital inf infrastructure in other developed countries. I certainly know that there's a lot of companies that has some anxiety about moving to the cloud, and especially the public cloud. You still have to apply your solution on top of that infrastructure and you have to ensure that your applications is still secure, so it's not a, a one-size-fits-all. Particularly like three sessions. Okay. First is the one discussed by Stuart. Yeah. I liked how he discussed that uh, artificial intelligence is uh, more of intelligence and less artificial. So he puts the human factor into it. And the other one is by Scott where he mentioned that models should be explainable and predictability should be secondary. I like the way he explained that as well. But the, the one session that I like the most is the last session by Neil. He gave a different perspective on innovation and digitalization. It's quite different from what I know of how to do digitalization. This is one of the benefits and of course, meeting people in the industry, yeah, uh, understanding each other and how we can leverage on each other's right, expertise.